Let's look at them soon. Check it out now. Rap podcaster Tax Stone is fucked. Now, here's the thing, man. Because this is so sad. It's so sad because I've been rooting for all these brothers included. I, I, I treat online commentary like this. If I don't like your music, I'm going to call your shit whack. But that's where it stops. I'm not going to say I'm going to check you in the streets. I'm going to punk you. I'm going to slap you. It doesn't go that far for me. I don't even know you. So my criticism with the rappers that I speak about solely ends with music. Now, if they do dumb stuff, I'll be like, oh, that's dumb. Or, okay, that's a good move. But I don't really get it personal, okay? Now, will they get it personal? I don't know, right? But I'm telling you where I take it from. I take it from a place of I'm just a fan of music. Now, one situation that clearly it boiled over to the point where somebody's dead and somebody's in jail and actually two people are fighting for their lives through the court system is this whole Tax Stone and Troy Ave situation. I don't know if y'all know, like, the origin from what I've seen. It appears Troy Ave was being critiqued by Tax Stone, which, by the way, I've critiqued Troy Ave as well. Now, it got to a point where I believe there was physical threats or physical promises of, listen, this is not only online criticisms, this is not only uh, because Troy Ave would say people who criticize him were trolls or weirdos, it's not only that, when I see you, there'll be some problems, okay? And because of everybody wanting everybody in hip-hop to be this tough, macho guy, when these two actually ran into each other, it ended in somebody dying, somebody being shot, and, of course, other bystanders being shot in a loaded motherfucking venue, Irvin Plaza. Now, we saw Troy Ave in the immediate aftermath. He got locked up. We saw the video. He was shooting on camera. That was pretty self-explanatory. He's going to get locked up for that. But we couldn't get why the narrative said, what the fuck? If you're shooting, why did your bodyguard get killed? And why did you get shot? Are you that Reckless with the gun. Now, later we find out this was a confrontation between Tax Stone and Troy Ave. Okay? Now, we're only knowing what's being told by the police and through the media. But we're getting to find out there was something that went down. There was some type of scuffle. Somebody pulled out a gun and shots were fired. People were killed. Now, Tax Stone was later arrested. He was arrested on bringing the gun to Irvin Plaza. Allegedly, he bought it or got it from somebody out of state. And also, he had it in the venue that night. Now, after hearing what the police said in the federal case, where he pled guilty, by the way, to having the gun, purchasing the gun, and having that night, everyone was saying, well, if that's all the facts, somebody's going to get charged with murder. Because somebody died and a murder charge got to come down. Or at least, the very least, the manslaughter charge. Now, Taxstone was charged with murder yesterday. And he was charged with second degree murder. He was also charged with attempted murder, assault, and also weapons charges. Now, I know for some of y'all, y'all might be like, what the fuck is going on? Is somebody snitches? Is this, is that, is that... Let me let y'all know the difference, and we have to understand the legal system before we jump out of the fucking window and say so-and-so is snitching. The federal charge came before these charges. These charges are not federal charges. They're state charges. So the feds actually filed charges and got him to say he's guilty on the you got that gun illegally shit. You're a felon. You got that gun illegally. Now New York State came in with, yo, you murdered someone. So they charge him for all these things. He already pled guilty and is awaiting sentencing on the federal charges, but now the state, they're trying to get him to go away for life. Tax Stone's a very beloved person in hip-hop. However, it seems like a lot of stuff that people may have encouraged, and of course, the onus is always on him, has led him to these situations and led him to this particular place in his life, which I know is incredibly sad because, again, I was rooting for him because he comes from a different life than me. He ain't part of the pussy nigga association. He's about that. I'm going to say that shit. And if I see you, what's up? So, again, it's very sad. He is locked up again without bail. He's not going to get bail in the first place because he's awaiting sentencing. But now he's about to go through another case and another trial potentially. I think he'll probably plead guilty to this shit too. Right? Because they have overwhelming proof that he pulled the trigger. They got his DNA on the fingerprint. They got supposed eyewitnesses. So it ain't looking good for him. And here's the best case scenario if you are a fan of Tax Stone. And by the way, I can't co-sign any of the moves any of these guys made because somebody lost their life. But if you care about what happened to Tax Stone, uh, listen, he's probably facing between 15 and 25 years, maybe even 30. He could be looking at a life sentence, right? 
And of course, Troy Ave, he could be looking at 5 to 10, maybe even 15 for the attempted murder charge. He might be able to get out of that because maybe he could say it's self-defense. Regardless, this is a situation, and this is where we also have to ignore fans at times, okay? Not because you have an opinion on somebody's music, right? Mean if they disagree with you, y'all got to go shoot it out. That's not where hip-hop is no more. And if you think that's where hip-hop is, or if you would encourage that niggas got to shoot it out over an opinion, I think that's problematic. Now, I'm not just simplifying the Troy Avon Tax Stone situation to just difference in musical opinions, because apparently they were from the same area. Of course, Tax was, was doubting that he was as street as he was, which, again, listen, the commentators of hip-hop, I don't believe it's our place to, unless we're living it, to really doubt if niggas is really shooting out, unless you about to shoot it out with them. Unfortunately, this is a black eye on hip-hop in general and just how we move forward with rappers dealing with critique and also how people like myself as commentators deal with people not agreeing with our criticisms, right? But I feel incredibly sad for all parties. I feel bad for Taxstone. I feel bad, of course, for the most for the family of Banga, which is the bodyguard who got killed that night. I feel bad for Troy Ave. And I know a lot of people are quick to point, yo, it's Troy Yav, so it shouldn't matter. No, 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 we got it. We can't be hypocritical, right? And you may not like his music or you may like his music, but you got to be 100% fair. This situation is a situation that if you gave all parties involved a second opportunity to rethink their actions, I would hope they would have not been in this situation, number one, or if they were, they would do something else. Very sad. Give me a call, Mox. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. Ain't no jokes about this, man. This is as serious as it gets. Taxstone had a very promising career. Troy Ave had a very, I don't know, promising, but like he was definitely doing his thing. This this whole thing slowed him up, right? And of course, Banger, he had a full life ahead of him. There's no wins in this situation. Give me a call, Mox. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Boy Academics. I'm up.